New this morning, record low rates coupled with a massive shortage in available homes. It's helping to drive one of the hottest sellers markets in years. Some don't even make it to listing before they're sold over asking. Currently, Cincinnati is the number one market in the country for gains in median listing price over last year. And even with the pandemic, it doesn't seem like that's cooling off anytime soon. Cincinnati is heating up. Not the weather, but the housing market is on fire. If it's priced right, sells within hours. That price is higher than ever. Under 400,000 and it's in great shape no matter where it is, sells very quickly. Thanks to a combination of factors. The pandemic forced people to reevaluate their living spaces. For some, that means buying their first home or maybe renovating their current one to make it more friendly. Record low interest rates also make it more affordable for some to buy than rent. Kelly Meyer, president of the Cincinnati Board of Realtors, says home sales are up roughly 9% from this time last year. Inventory, though, is down nearly 50%. That is the biggest limiting factor on what would be a truly incredibly robust market if we had people selling their homes. It, it would make a, a huge difference. So this has been on the market since June. Um, what's been sort of the action on it? Have you guys had any offers? What's been happening? No. Um, there's been a lot of showings. We talked with Mitzi Hines just outside her Hyde Park home. As you heard, it's been on the market for more than 90 days, and she just lowered the price to $520,000. I've had a couple of people that looked at the home. One was a dentist, and she wanted to put a um, put an offer in. But then she was so afraid of the governor reshutting something down that she was in fear of her job, that she wouldn't have the income, and maybe right now isn't a good time to be purchasing a home. When Hines bought three years ago, she was certain she'd have no trouble reselling when the time came. The details inside her 114 year old home, the woodwork, the stained glass, she assumed she would be sought after. Now, she's not so sure. I find that a lot of people are looking in Hyde Park, then they go over to other areas of um, more suburban areas to get more for their money. Part of a nationwide trend. The National Association of Realtors just published the results of a July survey done in Cincinnati and 49 other top markets. The idea broadly is to um, ask people about their housing preferences, what types of housing do they want to live in, and what type of community do they want to live in. The super walkable neighborhoods are still sought after, but coronavirus caused a shift. If you have kids, you want um, more just like outdoor space for them where they're contained in the yard, but it's enough to play in. And if everybody is Zooming from home, you need enough rooms where everybody can be in their own room and, and have some quiet. So will we see even more of a shift to the suburbs? We haven't seen that in the numbers yet, but we're starting to hear it anecdotally that, hey, listen, I might need a bigger home. A move up in this market may benefit you financially and help someone else find their new home. First thing to do would be to uh, just think about getting into the market. It's really hot as a seller. Our inventory is low, and uh, you're going to you're going to have a good experience as long as you're prepared. And everyone we talked to said if you are considering getting into the market, you should talk to a realtor. They'll be able to give you a better idea of what is happening in your neighborhood. Then coming up this Thursday, the second part of our dive into the market, we're talking with a home developer about their shortages and an economist who says our area is seeing an influx of buyers coming in from out of state.